you know guys uh, one supporter went away we decided to frequent more vegan <laughs> places in mumbai you know because he doesn't have access to those anymore and now we are not morally obliged to ask him ki dude are you coming you know when are you free we'll go when you are free so we visited one uh, let's say a coffee chain uh, in mumbai i went there because when i searched on, on the you know food delivery app when i searched the word vegan you know this is a hobby of vegans we just go on places and just type vegan to see what we are getting today it's just a, it's a throw of the dice you, you are kind of uh, giving it more importance by calling it a hobby but okay uh, uh we decided to you know check it out uh vegan waffle so i was like uh, i haven't had this dish when i was a non vegan it's recently getting popular people are you know having it um so let's you know finally i have a vegan option let's go check it out so i and saurav went there and uh, since you are not mentioning the say, play, name of the place uh, i can say it was terrible it was fuck uh, because that's what you want to say <laughs> yeah it was it was you know you know it's just it was not good basically. see this is what happens when you so, go to <laughs> eat vegan food without a putta okay this is what you fucking get you get what you fucking get no, <laughs> deserve the outcome would not have been different if if you were coming so i can't say it that it wouldn't be problem. but but this is what you you get what you fucking deserve <laughs> so moral of the story but, is uh, don't go to eat vegan food without, without a putta uh so uh, so for this i was coming to a point uh, basically a lot of you know uh, people are people are let's say businesses uh, vegan businesses or non vegan businesses they just slap the word vegan onto something <laughs> and people like us fall prey to it yeah. we throw our hard earned money at it and a lot of time it doesn't stick you know it's not good yeah Um see it's like there are people who can, can we call it can we call it the vegan tax <laughs> is that we are paying a large amount yeah. of money just because something is you know titled as yeah, vegan yeah this is a reference to the pink tax thing where uh, certain products which are just used by everyone it is labeled as some like for instance like shaving razors for men and women do the same thing they shave hair basically but uh the women's variant is charged more and as compared to the men's variant and this is what they call a call a pink tax yeah i mean so not vegan tax is very real yeah no i'm not interested in the economics of it that's a totally different thing to discuss but the idea is you simply get a free pass to overprice uh, something simply because you've put that name against it and i actually wrote an article about it i don't know if you checked it out if you haven't just go to um the uh, the, the vegan world over here account. that's flashing and check out the article that i wrote about <coughs> vegan businesses but i think this generally applies mm. to non vegan businesses as well like uh, people just they it's like they notice that there is this extra chunk of pie vegans who are not purchasing products and this is want them to just come and buy their products so what they do is they just make any random garbage dish and they just slap the word vegan next to it <laughs> and then they know like people no, no, think... it's like gaurav will go and buy it <laughs> and give them business no this is this is worse because uh, let's say i've been duped i was duped you know <laughs> willingly i just wanted to try out something but let's say if somebody is you know uh, there's a local person yeah. they just go there and they just say like oh there's a vegan yeah. dish i've heard about this vegan thing let me try it out so that doesn't send a good message so they'll be like no no this is so expensive but it's not mm. good so that means veganism is the same thing yeah that's true so i think abuda uh, was mentioning something earlier that it's it's true that we do need some kind of accountability so that there needs to be some kind of like feedback thing uh I think we even even for vegan businesses right we go there we eat something if we don't like it we are like acha theek hai and we just come back we never like i mean i don't remember ever giving them like feedback like up front just go and maybe not buy it next time or something like that but if i find something to be subpar i don't tell them that this is subpar 
I just walk out. We need to start doing that. We need to go to vegan businesses and give them genuine feed. Like, don't just go and tell them that no, it's not good. I hate it or something. Just for the heck of it. If you genuinely think something deserves to be changed, then I think you should tell them because how else will they improve, right? So if your goal is to grow, then growth will only happen with fee- with genuine feedback. If you simply molly coddle them and say that. Yeah, 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 it's all going good, all going. So yeah, we should we should definitely offer some constructive criticism. Like, uh, let's say uh, this dish was, you know, you can make this this change, or you know, if the price is too high, you can say then like, let's try to reduce the price. You can definitely give constructive criticism to these things. Um, that that it is useful to you know develop a good relationship with these businesses. May may the owner be vegan or non-vegan, so we can always offer them advice as you know. uh um, experienced vegans with uh, five years of experience and um, um having a youtube mm. channel <laughs> with uh, 100 subscribers 100 subscribers <laughs> <laughs>